Hello everyone, welcome back to Copilots. We are playing Sherlock Holmes Nemesis, but yep. the title up here is versus Arsene Lupin, is that? I believe that's how you pronounce it. Alright. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Um This is sort of more my field. I know Liam is yeah. like introduces games, and you'll see me introduce Silent Hill in a little while, or you've already seen it. I clearly have, have no already, idea what is going on. It will have already happened a while ago. Yeah, actually. sorry. And <laughs> continuity is in flux. <laughs> <laughs> time is a flat circle, all that kind of stuff. We don't function on a linear timeline. It doesn't work. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. <laughs> Wibbly wobbly time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't do that joke well enough. I play a lot of these games, specifically Frogware, who make a lot of Sherlock Holmes games. Now, some of them are really good and really well received, but some of them came out very earlier than this game, and they're all trash. <laughs> they're bad plots. Almost bad controls. Yes, in a point-and-click game, there are bad controls. Yeah, and this is where it starts taking off, so I thought this is a good starting on place for most of us. We'll happily go back and play the old ones oh, all yeah. the time, but, and they're the bad ones. But uh, I feel a start. Yeah, and this is one that I haven't played. Few of them I haven't, the good ones I haven't played yet, so I thought, perfect way for us to start so we'll off. we running through these mysteries together. Yeah. All right. In let's, a bit of a puzzle. Let's jump on. You don't have any save files that you care about, do you? No. Cool. Go for it. I literally just bought this a few days ago. Oh, they do this the same fade in. They've done that across a lot of the series. All right, you are undertaking to portray Sherlock Holmes, the famous consulting detective of 221B Baker Street, London. During this case, you must demonstrate both sagacity, sagacity, and calm. I don't know that one. That's a new one. It's uh, rare I play a game that's in this. I don't know these kind of words. Sagacity. Okay. I'm, I'm reading the Great Train Robbery at the moment. And I'm not <laughs> reading sagacity anywhere. Observe well the items around you and don't hesitate to click on them once you have the required information. You will obtain comments that will help you on your hunt. I've never heard, like, clues or anything referred to as comments. Yeah. Do not forget to interrogate anybody who may be able to inform you. Choose right. the right questions and pay heed to their answers. Mmm. Good. Oh, Jesus. Reading. There's going to be reading. This, this is going to be a slower series of reading and thinking. Oh, yeah. Assure yourself that you aren't caught short by your adversary. Arsene Lupin will throw... A number of challenges at you, which will demand that you are subtle and methodical. Good. Thus, in the course of your investigations, you will have need of pencil and paper. Oh, yay! <laughs> Goody! And we have Sean on board. Yes, I was always on board. I mean, just Get yourself a fucking notepad. Yes, um, uh, hang on. Uh, we are ready. <laughs> Carry on. He, he, is, he is on with it. Okay. Ah, uh, where were we? Uh, pe pencil and paper. Certain riddles will require a reflection worthy of your hero. It will be challenging. At certain moments, you will need to type a keyword in response to a question in order to continue the adventure. This is not Shit. stuff that happened in other games. I'm excited. You're at liberty to consult your notes in order to help yourself. Do not forget to read the documents that you will have gathered and glance through Shut Up Computer <laughs> um, and glance through Sherlock's notes. They are all important. In order to advance your inquest... You will have at your disposition plans and maps that- Jesus, this is catered for you! Yeah. <laughs> it's everything I need. That will permit you to teleport by clicking on given points. May equally make your character run by double clicking with the left mouse button. L.A. Noir was my gateway drug into this. <laughs> England's honour is at stake. Do not disappoint your adversary. Salute, damn you! <laughs> okay. Yes! <laughs> Aaron will be happy. I noticed oh. his call out in his video. Oh yeah! <laughs> Frogwares presents. The fuck out of- Oh, it's Hopscotch. Yeah. I thought you were doing it- No, he's just- He's, <laughs> he's grooving. just- yeah, He's it. grooving. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit on our end. It's like the breakdancing kid in the opening of Twin Peaks. He's just there. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> the new adventure of Sherlock Holmes. Oh, man. You look fucking pretty. Yeah, no, it's- It, it, it certainly feels like- How recent is this game? 2000 at least 2008 or earlier because that's when Steam came wow. on and they released this out so yeah now again it's pretty good for 2008 no it's not there Baker Street there we are and I think they keep the the geography of the street across all games nice and I think that's super cool uh, Bobby out on his run July then, 14, literally there he is July 14 1895 shall I note that down London yeah July 14th 1895. 1895. It starts! <laughs> so it begins. Oh, he's at his violin. Yes. 
And I actually quite like the model of the face they have for Sherlock. I really dig it. Now, subtitles should be on. It looks to be the beginning of a lovely day, Holmes. There's nothing like beginning the week with a sunny Monday, with nothing more pressing to do than to see what came in the post. And would you care to take a ride up the Thames today? Are you asking him out? I think not, Watts. Listen, Holmes. <laughs> Wait, we're dropping that no. <laughs> progressively worse for the past two weeks. I know you, and I am certain that something is bothering you. It wouldn't be bad news from Switzerland, would it? We would already be on a boat heading towards the continent, were that the case, my dear Watson. Very well, then. What is my it? Croft, Let me guess. For the past two weeks, the papers have talked of nothing other than this French thief... See, he's Arsene French. Lupin. This is the honour of England. He's been making all of the police officers on the continent look like complete idiots. <laughs> You're taking an obvious so pleasure out of reading these articles. Yeah, my well. dear Watson. I've put my finger on it, haven't I? I know you well. Something tells me that you will not Lucy entertain talk of this Lupin for bad. some time. No. I'm not sure exactly when this Do came you out, recall but his latest I believe this is using an alias, yeah. he seduced okay, a young Italian princess in order to rob her of a priceless set of diamond and he's jewels charismatic. that Jesus. once belonged to the Medici. These jewels were to be part of the lady's Medici. dowry. On well, the occasion passed. of her marriage to the son of a wealthy, influential Sicilian. Finally, our friend, having committed his crime, left word for the local press, explaining that there was no other way for the charming lass to escape a marriage of convenience with, I quote, an uncultivated and uncouth boar without the least refinement. Well, then, Since damn. then, the lady has been confined to a convent, oh, and rumor oh, has Jesus. it that the two outraged fathers have jointly offered a sum of countless millions of liras for the head, the rest of the body being optional. Of this the is an Italian hardcore on a fucking mob This is Sicilians, yeah! The fucking of Sicilians. The Italian wow. criminal milieu. Why, another letter from the zoo about those missing birds, as if we were going to be running around the whole of London chasing chickens. I would play that game. As I was saying, <laughs> Fine mini are you acquainted with the reputation of the Italian criminal milieu? Ah. This Arsene Lupin must be in hiding somewhere, surrounded by bottles of champagne and stolen treasures. How foolhardy and arrogant. Oh, these French. Confound them. However, he didn't pursue this foolishness to the point of risking stepping onto British soil. Uh, Thank you, Dr. Ah, Exposition. Has the cat got your tongue, Watson? What? Uh, um. He, he's uh, on British soil. <laughs> the fuck happened? He's here. Whatever is the matter with you, Watson? Pray tell. This letter on the t table. Got to know. <laughs> Read it. John. Okay, okay. Right. Let's move in the game, just left click on the destination. Well, I want to look at the letter. Let me see. Okay. Arsene Lupin's threat. Uh, shall I take this one? Sure. Um, so, uh, sophisticated, roguish, French art thief. Flex your French accent. Dear Mr. Holmes. Before I begin, please excuse any That's grammatical... That's very German. I'm trying. <laughs> you know, some people come from a Franco-German border. <laughs> any grammatical or spelling errors that you might notice. Your language isn't my native tongue, as I come from the continent. France, to be exact. In addition, my singular subjects of conversation, whether they be oral or written, are the most exquisite food and wine, the noblest arts, and the sublimest of women. The world, whole world knows... <laughs> yeah, the for a minute, I was yeah. like, do I make a joke? I don't. <laughs> the whole world knows that you, people of Her Most Gracious Majesty, do not produce or even discern any manifestation of aesthetic intelligence and civilization that sets men apart from beasts. Oh! Thus... Major off. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a Victorian burn. <laughs> Thus, the opportunities to practice your language are sporadic and brief. What use is there to linger with a lackey or maid? But look, I see I have made a mistake, or rather, an inexorable mistranslation. I said, you, people of her most gracious blah blah blah. I should have said, the people of blah 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 other than you. How can I include you in this half ruddy faced half pallid crowd reeking of brine cheap beer? Is that meant to be a compliment? It is, or? he's saying we're not a part of that. You Fucking stand Christ. apart, an icon, having followed your exploits for some time, and been interested in your unusual personality. I started to see you in, in you a man of intelligence, ingenuity, and singular refinement. 
The incredible results of your activities and the manner in which you achieve them are marked with the seal of genius. Believe me, despite the lamentable opinion that I hold for the inhabitants of your island, I have for you an admiration without the limit, which regarded its apogee recently when I discovered you have a French ancestor. He does. Good details. What unlucky stars brought you to the world elsewhere than in the motherland, the motherland I call my own, that should have been your own? Perhaps the gods desire that your presence on this island bring up the intellectual average that was so low it bordered on the absurd. What the fuck? Man? He's just going to town. He is, ha he is taking shots left and I right. Know. The business that brings me to write this letter may bring an answer to this question. You see, events without antecedent will occur in London in the week to come, beginning on the very night of the day in which you read this letter. He's being very optimistic with English Post. Oh yeah. <laughs> the purpose of this event is to bring to light a fraud, the arrogance and vanity of the English. He keeps going. Enough what? of the haughty, boring composure that the English present us with passions should be freely expressed. Enough of the derisive confidence in England's impregnability, which is displayed by all of your politicians and soldiers. The English fortress has been protected by seas serving as moats. Enough of your supposed symbols of majesty and grandeur, of spirit which are, in fact, merely the fruits of looting and plundering. England has measured the world by its stingy, superior smile for far too long. Thus I, Arsun Lupin, have pledged to get rid of the smile. To that end, in the week to come, I pledge to steal five of the most representative symbols of the alleged English grandeur here in London. Once these auspicious achievements have been accomplished, I will exhibit the trophies for the world to see, and will reveal the smallness of a nation incapable of preserving its pride. England will become the laughing stock of all nations, from the largest to the smallest, and will have to swallow its pride and lower its head for millennia to come. Remind me, if we like come back and play more of these games, if, if people want us to do more of them, yeah. we need to either be drinking wine or one better, sherry. Sherry. Just dry sips of sherry. Fuck yeah. <laughs> but they still carried on. He's like, I'm just, I'm just listening to you read this going... Yes, I can just... I can just imagine, like, while you're reading this, blood's progressively boiling and pressure gets higher. Imagine these self-righteous and perfidious faces, who ordinarily parade the fact they are one of Her Majesty's people, will henceforth hide their origins. Being English will no longer be grounds for pride, but rather shame. In brief, the debts will be paid. This is a crime greater than any hope they've ever committed. Shaming what the entire the nation. Fuck? You are perhaps asking yourself why I've chosen to share with you my vision which many who don't know me would consider mad. After all, if my former praises are well-founded, you are certainly the only person in England capable of stopping my plan. It's arrogance. Like myself, you are fully aware of the inefficiency and the flagrant lack of imagination that plagues your police service. <laughs> the reason for this letter wow. is imminently narcissistic. Knew it. No exceptional artist desires to produce their work for an uncultured public, incapable of appreciating the true value of his prowess and talent. In you, I have found the ideal spectator and I wish for you to follow the stages of my consecration step by step. In fact, I would also almost wish for you to put yourself in my path, and in vain to stop me from committing these thefts. But you are a busy man who doesn't like defeat. What a shame. Imagine how much ink and paper you could save if you just wrote, fuck the British, yeah. gonna do things, try and stop yeah. me. <laughs> if, despite everything, the adventure tempts you anyway, I shall leave you a few verses that deal with tonight's target. God damn I'm it. I'm gonna write this down. All right. All across France, everyone knows, in the blind's kingdom, you only need one eye for your crown. You treat us like blind men, it shows. T'was a one-eyed, one-armed man who brought us down. It is true that we failed, though we tried again. Our faith was nailed, his immortality our pain. One of the Spanish capes, the detestable pride, that hangs around you like drapes, our sufferings make you snide. All that shit about, like... Fate was nailed, immortality our pain is that's probably a Jesus thing. Possibly. Alright, uh Spanish capes. Yep. Uh, uh, An wow. adversary came along in order to protect victory. We were put in the wrong and the day made history. Um victory, I wanna say Yeah, that's capital. No um uh Spain, Spanish fleet, the Armada, uh Nelson. Save the pain and defeat. I was thinking, the worst in this. That or the fact that victory is capitalized. That's his ship. Might... I think that's his ship. It was, it was either going to be that, or it might be a reference to the fact that it might be a Victorian. Maybe this could be something. Save the pain and defeat. The worst in the game is that the hero we did meet carries a French name. Clearly, did vengeance sound? What I have in mind for this traitor, sitting at his master's feet like a hound, is to be run aground. On my honor, tonight to hand, I will break free the binding so that all may understand. 
Our victory will take wing. Arseno Lutino. Well. <laughs> okay. He is a... Uh... Holmes, this is truly unbelievable. Surely this cannot be taken seriously. It's possible, service. Watson, that this letter is nothing but a prank. However, a small chance exists that both the challenge and the threat are real. What will you do? We'll First, I'm going to enjoy the breakfast Mrs. Poem. Hudson yep. has prepared. If you would be so good, Watson, as to clarify some of the riddles in the letter. Firstly, if Arsene Lupin is actually the author, as he states, why does he sign now, with I'll take my own on the way. when it comes to the poem? The even if no, the answer seems straightforward, we must be quite certain. What would the target of tonight's theft be if this letter turns out to be accurate? We have one day to find the solution and to take preventative measures. You could go see Barnes, the also, bookstore in Glentworth the Street. In the Surely they'll have something that will be informative. How cool is that? God damn. I believe, actually, from my memory of the books, he does keep a, uh, uh, a drawing of that. All right. We are now... Holmes's violin. Also, uh, I've, I've taken it to a first person. No, so. that's a, fair enough. Also, I am in love with the voice acting. It is really good. It's and not just like they found good people to do an English accent. They read it like it's a conversation. What? This accursed statue is still here? Yeah. I've asked Mrs. Hudson to remove it. That was the game I was talking about the game beforehand. Uh, we'll get to that in time. Because the, <laughs> okay. I, the, the, the concept is so ridiculous. I can't spoil it now. Anything uh, else in this room? Umbrella. Probably look at the painting just to see if I can film. This is how Holmes organises his correspondence that is awaiting responses. If only his clients he saw that. Stabs them. Yeah, it just... It's a coal bucket in which Holmes stores his cigars. What a strange idea. Now, on the left, there's a big spear on the wall. Colonel oh, Gordon. It was during the affair of the lodger in treatment. The Reichenbach Falls. What an awful memory. What happened in the past? Yep, yeah, so this is set afterwards. Um, oh. That big spear on the wall, I think, is the Black Peter case? From spear memory. On the wall, spear on the wall. Um, take a few steps back into the room, and then on the left, big spear. Oh. Yeah. It's the steel harpoon that pierced Black Peter, master of the sea unicorn. Terrible memories. Yeah, the guy was just impaled into the wall. So just someone just detail. launched it, yeah. Oh man, it's hard not it's hard for me not to love this game. Hold it down, uh, mate. My eccentric companion keeps his shag tobacco in the toe. His of shag his tobacco. Slipper. That's what it's called. <laughs> hey. And that's Metronome. Holmes' room on the right and Watson's on the left. It was in this statue yeah. that we found the famous black the pearl Napoleons of the Borders. Yeah. Very good story. Uh, yeah, there's so many little details around here, which is reflective of people who know. Holmes' table for experiments. A motley collection. And that is the Dancing Men. Ooh, the adventure that of the Dancing Men. That is one of my favorite I stories of his. All right. So, so much to be found just around here. Scales? Mm. The pendulum? I think that's the balancer in the middle, to my, to my knowledge. All right, well, I think I've looked at everything. Yeah, do we want to check Watson and Holmes' rooms respectively? Sure. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure if I looked at you. I don't know what that is. I am not ready yet, Watson. Oh, he's... My eccentric companion keeps his shag okay. tobacco in the toe of My this room? Persian... Can't look at that. So I'm going to put in Arrival of Lupin's Letter. Because the, the letter was written down already, I'm not going to put mm -hmm. in too many details. No, that's fine. And it seems like they're immediately going to try to solve what it could be. There's a lot of paper that I can't look at. Anything in the cupboards? No. No, can't get into any of them yet. Okay. Off to see Miss Hudson, who I believe is downstairs. 